What's good all guys, it's Greg here today bringing you a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 gameplay commentary and today we are going to be going over the community update that Infinity Ward has pushed out so I can keep you guys informed here on what's going on with the game for Season 2 and what it can mean for some of the future content on the channel because as you know, time goes on, the game is going to be changing and evolving and today I want to go over some of these changes and things that are going to be happening with the launch of Season 2 which I believe is February 15th or the 14th, I cannot remember the exact date. Um, but anyways, global, let's start with global and we're going to go with multiplayer after I am not someone who covers battle royale and DMZ at the moment. I do not think this will ever be a Warzone 2 channel because I don't enjoy Warzone. I enjoy other battle royales and I do like DMZ. So watch out for the future. If I end up starting some DMZ content for you guys, um, it's definitely on the lookout, but it depends on what they do with the mode because right now. I kind of just play it for fun, don't really have any sort of goals with it. Um, anyways, moving on to the global changes here. So crashes and stability are going to be continued on being improved, and I'm really hoping that they can finally fix the crash that has been plaguing a lot of PC users, and I believe it has something to do with NVIDIA or Intel. And this is as soon as you start the game in full screen mode, the game just automatically crashes. So. Hopefully they can fix that. You have to alt enter each time it starts up um, if this is the specific issue that is occurring for you and it will fix it by waiting to load the game in windowed mode and then you can go to full screen. Very strange bug. Hopefully they finally fix it because um, if they don't, it will be three months since this bug has been introduced. Next up is audio, and audio is going to be improved upon. So PC users are experiencing audio issues due to discrepancies in the number of channels they are outputting. This is something that happens for me because I use something called voice meter to split channels. And as a result, I have audio issues on this game. It sounds very weird. So I've been using this little fix they have. Um, it forces PC to stereo output, uh, and as long as if the two are set correctly, um, you should not have any sort of weird issues. And um, personally for me, I just set it to PC, and uh, that seemed to have fixed it for me. Um, but it seems they are going to be improving audio, as well as something that is happening with audio occlusion. And this is going to be something that they are going to be reintroducing with uh, Season 2. So, audio occlusion, I am not really sure how this is going to be for the multiplayer. This could help maybe reduce footstep audio. You know, if you're in a building and people are outside, maybe it would be a little bit more muffled. I don't know. Um, I'm not going to try to speculate too hard here because I am not really an audio engineer or anything of that nature. I don't really, you know, have that kind of knowledge. Uh, the UI is getting some improvements. This is going to be mostly with the store and camo uh, menu. Seems like there's going to be a bunch of bug fixes. And uh, there's also going to be something that helps the status refresh of friends list. And um, the instant speed for recent players in the menu. I didn't even know this still worked. I mean, most of the time I check, it says met 30 days ago, even though I've been playing. So, hey, it is what it is. Um... And so, yeah, improved after action report, uh, some bug fixes between the battle pass, weapon progression and challenges, and uh, weapon balance is another thing that they are going to be going over for Season 2. I'm looking forward to that quite a bit. Uh, as for the multiplayer notes, it seems like the audio occlusion system was turned off in multiplayer after launch. So... It has not been turned on since um, the advanced version of this, so I'm hoping that this is going to help the audio overall and make it make more sense, because as of right now, sometimes it can be hard to tell whether someone's like on the same floor as you, <laughs> you know, enemy versus teammate, and um, all these different kind of sounds are going on. You can hear footsteps like if you're in a building to like the next building really loud, so I'm really hoping this will make it more realistic in that regard. Um, as well as overall for the balance of the game. And they said that it is going to be back online with the launch of Season 2, so looking forward to that. Alright, so next up is perk balancing, and there are going to be a little bit of uh, 
timing balance going on here. So uh, the ultimate perk is going to be reduced by 25% and the bonus perk is going to be reduced by 50%. So you'll be earning these perks much faster now than before. Um, as for the actual time, I'll put it on the screen once I calculate it for you guys. You guys will see the updated perk times, so that way you will be better informed. And I think this is a very positive change. I know they do not want to revert the perk system, so I'm not going to sit here and beg them for it, because that would be beating a dead horse. Um, but they do not want to swap the ghost perk to perk 2, and I think that if they wanted to, or bonus perk I should say, if they wanted to do this, I feel that they would have to rebalance the entire perk system from the ground up and what category each perk is in, because that would just be, well, I think it's a clear option there that ghost would be one of the most popular perks in that category, and as for the ultimate perks, I mean, I really only think that three of them are good, and that is ghost, uh, quick fix, and you could argue between high alert or bird's eye, I guess you could say, but I would say bird's eye is probably the better one because cold blooded is a perk too, or bonus perk, and it counters high alert, so you know, kind of redundant there. Um, but yeah, I, I honestly feel that that ultimate perk category just doesn't have really, you know, the best balance, but that's for something else. Um, anyways, so this adjustment will allow players to get ghost earlier in matches, which is the reason they want to do this for the people who want to engage more aggressively. I don't really think ghost is helping people engage more aggressively. Um, I think that ghost is used to make smarter decisions based off of, you know, enemy UAV spam, and I think that the majority of people that want to run Ghost is just to avoid the UAV spam that is in the game, and this would simply be resolved by adding red dots back to the minimap when people shoot unsuppressed guns. I feel that is the main reason that people use the UAV so much. I know I do. You know, I'm going to run the UAV because even if everyone's ghosted, if they start shooting their gun, they'll ping on the radar, right? So, I don't know. I, I kind of feel that um, their whole logic behind Ghost is a little bit backwards, and I think they're a little disconnected with why the majority of people do run ghost and that is because like i said the uav spam and the fact that we are forced to use the uav to get a traditional mini map it seems like weapons will be getting rebalanced so that's always great there are five new weapons coming to season two so they have said this and i think that is really cool i was not expecting that many and we'll see what they mean by this because it could be like two melees a, uh, or <laughs> three melees and, you know, a launcher and a sniper, you know, they could do something like that, or they could do two ARs, a sub, a shotgun, and, like, an LMG, you know, we don't know what they're gonna do, um, so we'll see what they mean by five new weapons, and Hardcore will be returning to MW2, replacing the Tier 1 mode, uh, you know, kudos to Infinity Ward for this, this is a positive change, because I know so many people were upset with Tier 1, and I think they could do the Realism mode, you know, instead of having, um, it built into Hardcore as Tier 1. I think they could do like a realism mosh pit like they had with Modern Warfare 2019 for those people who enjoyed the realism mode. So, you know, I think they could always do that later down the road. Uh, playlists, of course, multiplayer modes coming to Season 2. I we Come on, we all know what that means. If they're not going to be permanently added to the game. They're going to be a rotation, which is annoying. Um, we have Quick Play. We can add more playlists. They're not traditional playlists. It's quick play. It's it's not what it used to be. So come on, Infinity War. Just, just add them as permanent game modes, uh, such as Control and Bounty and whatever else you plan on bringing. Valentine's Day playlist will return. I don't even remember anything about Valentine's Day playlist, but Cool Beans. Uh, one week per month, Infinity Ward will be creating a Twitter poll for fans to vote on one of that week's playlists from a rotating pool. That's pretty cool. Uh, and Ranked Play will be coming to Season 2. They didn't say at launch, um, so we'll see. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so anyways, seems like that is all we have for now. I'm assuming next week or the week of launch for Season 2, we will get all of the patch notes, or most of the patch notes, as we know, Infinity Ward doesn't really enjoy giving us everything. Um, but yeah. Anyways, 
Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on the Season 2 update. I think these are mostly positive changes for the game, and I'm looking forward to what else Infinity Ward has in store with Season 2. Anyways, I will see you all in the next video. Be sure to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out. Have a great day.